America. My name is John Rosenthal. I am a business person, gun owner, co-founder of Stop Handgun Violence, and co-founder of Gun Safety Certified. We're here today to launch a new exciting program for businesses and consumers. And it is an amazing honor to be here with our co-founder, Manny and Patricia Oliver from Change the Ref and our larger than life inspiration, Joaquin Oliver behind us. He is an eternal activist. And what Manny and Patricia do every single day is beyond humbling. They are the most courageous, hardworking human beings I've ever met in my life. The fact that they can even get up in the morning, never mind do the work they do, is a testament to the people they are and the passion they have. So gun safety certified is going to be like the good housekeeping seal of approval or the recycling symbol. The majority of Americans support background checks for all gun sales, yet the Senate won't enact the bill that was passed in the House. And this gun safety certified mark is not only going to be about background checks for all gun sales, but it's going to be whatever a business person wants to do to be a part of this movement to frankly replicate the successful gun laws here in Massachusetts. We are an urban state. We have the lowest gun death rate in the nation. And thank goodness for our first responders. <laughs> urban state with the lowest gun death rate in the nation because of our effective gun laws that not only were passed on a bipartisan basis but are enforced rigorously by our attorney general. So after the massacres in Dayton, Ohio and El Paso, over 200 companies sent a letter to the U.S. Senate, 200 large companies with over 500 employees including Airbnb, Bain Capital, Bloomberg, Brookfield, Dix, and the list goes on and on and on. So not only are business people going to get involved in this effort, and consumers are going to support those business people because business people have influence, access, and resources. But without consumers supporting those businesses, those businesses have nothing. So in the absence of Congress caring more about saving the lives from preventable gun violence, which today will amount to another 100 Americans killed, another 150 wounded, there will be a mass shooting of four or more people every day until we get a handle on this. And beyond sad is the fact that tomorrow marks the two-year anniversary of the massacre of Parkland, which was preventable and which took place with a Massachusetts-made Smith & Wesson AR-15 that should never have gotten in the hands of a mentally ill individual who then shot and killed seven and 17, more, 17, and 17 more wounded. And ever since that day, two years ago, there has been a mass shooting every single day in addition to the hundred more that are killed. So this is an opportunity for businesses and, uh, and consumers to replicate our successful gun violence prevention model here. And we are going to replicate this across the country. And with that, you know, as I've been involved for this, with this issue since 1994, which is about 900,000 dead Americans ago from gun violence, it just gets crazier with how broken Washington is. 
but it also gets more important every day of how right Massachusetts is with our bipartisanship and our effective gun laws that don't negatively impact law-abiding gun owners like me. Only make us safer. So, you know, in the immortal words of Linda Ronstadt and Aaron Neville, I don't know much, um, but I know uh, how much I love Manuel and Patricia Oliver and the work that we do, and I don't even know how to process why I know them. Um, but we will continue this work until we dramatically reduce gun violence nationwide, and it is my honor to introduce our partners in this effort, Manuel and Patricia Oliver. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody, um, for having us here in this amazing city, right here in the Joaquin Oliver's Boulevard. That's how we call it, by the way. I don't know how you call it. For us, this is like the Joaquin's Boulevard corner. And, and probably we should be uh, home praying and crying because tomorrow uh, is the second year without being uh, able to hug our beautiful son Joaquin and instead of that we decided to move forward and become part of a solution and try to prevent what happened to Joaquin from happening again. Um, what happened to Joaquin it's beyond schools, it's beyond Portland, it's beyond Florida and it reaches all the way to Boston, LA, New York and we have the duty to be effective in every single corner of this nation. It's an honor to be here today. And it's also a nice feeling that starting today, I have the perfect answer for all those business owners that keep asking me, how can I help? Oh my God, get ready guys. Next time you ask me this, I have the perfect answer. You go and become a gun safety certified corporation and I will make sure that I will bring many customers to your stores many people will start buying your products your goods because we are waiting for these to happen and it's happening now and I like to believe that it's happening thanks to Joaquin and that makes me feel now as a proud father of an activist that has been able to change the way that we think, to change our society into a better society. Joaquin will not be able to vote. He was never able to vote because he was shut down when he was only 17 years old. So it's our duty as parents to let everybody know that Joaquin's want all of you to get out there and vote. So we're gonna use his power to multiply that option of him voting into thousands of new young people voting. Um, I'm so proud of my son, of the city of Boston, of what we're doing here together. And again, be ready because our tolerance has a limit. Okay? And since I lost my son, 80,000 people have lost their lives. And each life is decreasing a little bit my tolerance. So this is an option to make things better. Let's take it that way. Everyone, it's a red or blue. It's about saving lives. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, I just want to say a few words. I don't want you to be in the position that we are, that we have to see Joaquin just and the big word that is behind us. We just have to take a, a, advantage. We have to be conscious about what's going on in our country. We are just so thankful about Massachusetts at the, the way they roll these rules and the laws. And you have to be very supportive and very proud of that. And we, we wanna keep that example going on in every single state. But we need each of us to be able to move forward in all the way. So I just ask you to think about with your heart, follow your heart, 
follow your emotions. You don't want to be the way that we are today. Just take action. Thank you for coming and support every single thing in every single organization that is willing to make a difference. Thanks. There's a long history in America of student movements changing national policy, including the ending the war in Vietnam, the environmental movement, the recycling movement. And as, uh, as crazy it is, as it is to think that Manny and Patricia fled Venezuela because of the violence, picked the best school system in all of Florida for their kids to attend and lose their son to a preventable massacre of Parkland is insane. At the same time, because of that school system, the young folks in that high school were more prepared than any that I've ever seen in all the mass shootings over the last 25 years of this work. And with the leadership of David Hogg and Emma Gonzalez and the March for Our Lives, it gives me more hope than ever that we are going to dramatically reduce gun violence in America. And it's an honor to, uh, to introduce you to our partner in all of this, David Hogg. It's a little colder here than it is in Florida, sorry. Uh, So I want to begin by acknowledging that every parent that is watching this right now should be terrified. Because there are thousands of parents every year, just like Patricia and Manuel Oliver, standing behind me, who lose their children to gun violence. Because our leaders in Congress and across the country, in most states, fail to protect our children and fail to protect the future of the United States of America. This is not a Democrat or Republican issue. This is an issue of being a moral and ethical human being that has common decency to protect our children and not weapons of mass destruction like the AR-15. We are setting out today on a new president to help replicate some of the amazing success that has happened here in Massachusetts due to some of the amazing alliance and coalition partners such as Stop Handgun Violence and others in the state working with local business. So that is, in this current moment in our nation's history, when our supposed leaders are failing to lead us, it is up to the people and business to stand up and lead ourselves because Congress is not going to do it for us and the Senate is not going to do it for us until we take that change. So. For the thousands of business owners that have come up to me across the country, from the plains of North Dakota to the, to the uh, Oceanside beaches of Orange County, California, there is now a place for all of you to go that if you do want to help, if you are a business owner, you can go to uh, www.businessmustact.org. Once again, that's www.businessmustact.org because we need our business leaders and Americans everywhere to stand up for where our politicians can't. And this is not an issue of Democrats standing up, it's not an issue of Republicans standing up, it's an issue of our elected officials fundamentally failing at doing the most important thing for an elected official to do, which is to protect their citizens. Our Congress in the United States Senate is failing to ensure the domestic tranquility and they're failing to ensure the common defense against gun violence. Because I don't know about the rest of you, but I too remember reading somewhere else the reason why Patricia and Manuel should not be standing here today as so many Americans have sadly before them. And that is similar to what the, uh, our, our founding fathers said in the Declaration of Independence where they said, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I charge the United States Senate and ask Congress, where is Joaquin's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Where is 
the 40,000 Americans that die annually as a result of our failure protect, to protect our most important resource, our children. Where is their right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Because you can continuously say again and again that these things don't matter and gun violence doesn't happen, but that fails to acknowledge the reality that there are thousands of people just like Patricia and Manuel that have to wake up every day on the worst day of their lives because the worst thing possible happened to them. Because if you're if you're listening to this right now and you are scared, you should be. You should be scared because our leaders are not leading us and they are failing us. And it is up to us, and especially businesses, to stand up and lead ourselves. So that is again why I'm asking you, if you're a business owner, to please go to uh, www.businessmustact.org or, uh, and, and also look into being gun safety certified because this is how we're going to change this issue because sadly for people like Joaquin, even though may, they may no longer have life and they may no longer have liberty or the ability to pursue happiness, it doesn't have to be that way anymore. And I know that fundamentally what makes us Americans are people, what makes true Americans and what makes this country great to begin with it's not our hatred of our fellow Americans, and it's not our division. It's our unity and our ability to come together when our times are hardest and fight against the collective sources of evil, of militarism and intolerance and hatred that drives violence that sadly takes the lives of people like Joaquin every day. Because parents should be scared, and kids are standing up across the country with March for Our Lives to try to change this, but we need business owners to stand up too, because we cannot do this alone. We need you to stand with us and we need consumers to show that we will only stand behind companies that support common sense gun legislation. Legislation that gun owners like my father and many of my family members support as well. Because the fact of the matter is, if you're a law-abiding gun owner, you should have no fear of getting a background check to get a gun. And if you do, you shouldn't have a gun in the first place. So please, go to www.businessmustact.org sign up with gun safety certified if you're a business owner because we need business owners to lead where the United States Congress and Senate have not and help lead our country to a peaceful and tolerant place. Please go to those websites. Thank you and let's get this done. To our first responders, thank you so much for what you do every single day. And it's beyond insane when you think about our police officers are given 13 to 17 rounds in their weapons, service weapons, to protect us. But Congress gives 35 to 100 round magazines to anyone without a background check, along with assault weapons. It's one thing to pass laws. It's a whole other thing to enforce laws. And we have the most effective gun laws in the nation, thanks to the bipartisanship but no attorney general in the United States, probably in the history of the United States, has taken that job so seriously. Not just enforcing our gun laws, but enforcing the intent of the gun laws so that the gun industry can't circumvent them. And as the top law enforcement officer in Massachusetts, as the lead consumer advocate, as the lead regulator of businesses, um, we have a great opportunity uh, to continue working with the Attorney General um, in working with businesses and consumers. And that's why Maura Healy is here today, among other things, as adoring the Olivers as she does. And. Um, Please give a warm welcome to our Attorney General, who we are so lucky to have, Maura Healy. Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you, John, for bringing us together. John Rosenthal and Stop Handgun Violence have done so much for so long. Wonderful to be here with you today. And while it is cold, uh, and rainy, there is a warmth here and there is an energy here that helps us transcend uh, all of this nasty weather. I can't tell you what it means to me uh, to be here with the Olivers. Uh, we've come to know each other through a very sad circumstance and I have so much respect and admiration for them. Their, their activism, their artivism, their uh, keeping Joaquin alive, 
through imagery and sculpture and conversation and yes this billboard and importantly this pin I'm going to talk about is such a testament to the strength and resilience of a parent and also I think points the way. Art I think especially we need to remember art is about expression, art is about connecting with our humanity, art is about poetry, it's about love and I think in this time right now it's about that transcendence and taking us to where we need to be. John's right, I mean most Americans are totally supportive of background checks. We don't have them because there are a few that are controlled by the NRA that unfortunately are in positions of power. But together, we the people are going to work to change that. We're going to do it through the voting process, through the political process. But importantly, and what we're talking about today, is through the process of the purse. So, well, I'm, uh, I'm heartened and I'm so happy to see Manuel and, and Patricia. They're just amazing individuals and nobody has worked harder. I'm also really happy to see David. Um, David and I met uh, over in Cambridge when the Parkland students first came up uh, shortly after. And, you know, we huddled in the back room and we talked a little bit about, you know, what leaders should be doing in government. And later I know we, we spent some time together down in the Capitol. And it's just amazing, you know, what David Hogue and these students from Parkland have done. So thank you for all of your activism. You know, Change the Ref, that was the initial program that uh, Patricia and Manuel put together. And it was basically, you know, changing the ref, changing, changing the person that for far too long has gotten to call the shots. And for far too long, the NRA has gotten to call the shots. And that's changing. I see that as an attorney general. I see their power weakening. I see their, their strength Woo! weakening. And it is attributable and due to the activism of Americans all across this country who are standing up and saying enough. I've also seen something really powerful in this time, and that is the role of the business community. Well, Washington seems intractably stuck and stymied, right? It's the business community that's come forward the last few years on issues of immigration, right? On equality, on standing up for LGBT people, on climate change, right? The business community is leading, and the business community has a profound possibility and opportunity to make a real difference. So as Attorney General here in Massachusetts, I encourage strongly all of the members of our business community to come forward and embrace this campaign, this beautiful pin with Joaquin's beautiful face and image here, the Gun Safety Certified. And I hope to all in the media, you will cover and support those businesses who are signing up for the sake of the many who will be lost and injured today, the sake of Ed Milson Ribeiro, two days ago a 21-year-old shot and killed in Dorchester. For the sake of those who some of you may be out reporting on this evening because gun violence perpetrates itself every day in this city and all across this country. But this is powerful. This is powerful and I welcome and look forward to the businesses that are going to step up and do right in this time. Thank you. We sometimes get sort of lulled into complacency here and here in Massachusetts. Because of our gun laws, you're more likely to live here. Because of our gun laws, we have the lowest gun death rate in the nation. Because of our gun laws, it's hard to get guns here. But two thirds of the gun crime that will happen today and every day in Massachusetts are with guns purchased in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. We are not safe until we have universal background checks and universal gun laws just like we have proven to work here in Massachusetts. In the last six months we developed this gun safety certified good housekeeping seal symbol. Um, if you go to www.gunsafetycertified.org you can join as a consumer and you can join as a business person. And if you go to that website, you're also going to see the most amazing video about Manny and Patricia and the creation of this mark. And this mark features the eternal activist Joaquin Oliver. And our media partner uh, and our filmmaking partner and our social media partner uh, who's, who understands how important a company's social mission is uh, is uh, is our 
next speaker, very brief speaker, who can talk about exactly how this came about. Trip Clemens from Windy Films. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. I'm humbled by everybody who spoke before me. Your passion oh. and your commitment, thank you. It's been a long time since we first got started. We approached John and we said, this is an idea that we think could be really powerful, but it didn't become reality until the Olivers brought Joaquin to it. So thank you, everyone. When we've been discussing this idea with chief executive officers, they often say, talk to my CMO, talk to my chief marketing officer. So I just want to end today with a direct message from the perspective of advertising and marketing, speaking directly to those chief marketing officers. It's no longer about what you make and what you sell. It's about what you stand for. I'm gonna give you a couple really specific examples of times when the business community, which really is our fourth branch of government, stood up to shape public policy and public opinion. In 2015, then Governor Mike Pence from Indiana passed the Religious Freedom Bill, which was really just to legalize discrimination. But in response, Salesforce, Yelp, Apple, Angie's List, and other businesses said, we're not gonna send jobs to Indiana. So as a result, the state lost $60 million in business, and the bill didn't even last a month. In 2016, North Carolina then passed the bathroom bill, which was discrimination against the trans community. As a result, Adidas, PayPal, and others scrapped plans for future jobs. This cost North Carolina over three and a half billion dollars. And guess what? The discriminatory, the discriminatory parts of that bill were repealed. These are two examples where the business community was avoiding a loss. They stood up for what was right morally because they knew that if they didn't, they'd have a massive financial loss. But it's more than that now. It's now about businesses not just avoiding a loss, but seeking a profit, seeking a gain, you can both do well and do good as a business. There's many examples here in New England. Just, just last year, Timberland announced that they are planting 50 million trees. Gillette is changing masculinity. Duncan is no longer making styrofoam. But I'm just gonna point to one example very briefly, which is Nike. We all know the campaign that they did with Colin Kaepernick. They thought it was a risk, and they were right. Less than half of Americans, unfortunately, support Black Lives Matter, which Colin Kaepernick stands for. But a year later, the results are in. Nike had a $6 billion va brand value increase, a 31% boost in sales, and they generated over $163 million in free press. Clearly a huge win. So again, Colin Kaepernick, what does his face stand for for Nike? Something that unfortunately only 50% of Americans support. What does Joaquin's face stand for? Gun safety, an end to gun violence. Something that over 90% of Americans stand for. If Nike thought they were taking a risk and they ended up making a huge win, then we invite all of America's businesses and brands to take a huge win with supporting the over 90% of Americans who support background checks. Again, it's not just about doing what's right morally, it's about doing what's right for your business financially and collecting a coalition of like-minded consumers. The era of connecting with brands, with consumers based on product features is over. It's now about what you stand for. And with that, I want to invite all of you to join us and using your voice to shape opinion, shape policy, and save lives. Thank you. In closing, gunsafetycertified.org. And we have over 200 national companies representing companies that employ over 500 people each, who as of today, are gun safety certified, including right here in Massachusetts, 
with Bain Capital and Airbnb and the list is going to go on and on and on and consumers are going to hold companies accountable and consumers and businesses are going to hold our Congress accountable and we encourage you to get involved and thank you for being here and if there's any questions you have we're happy to answer them.